Hey, how's it going? This is Aaron. I just wanted to say a few things before I get off YouTube. Um, if I want to fast from YouTube, I think that includes making YouTube videos. Um, a lot of things have been heavy on my mind, and I've been doing really good on fasting from my pornography and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I think really we're at kind of a different place in our world. Um, and it's a post COVID world. And I know people like to talk about the vaccines and stuff, but to me, that doesn't really matter. It's I, either you'll be fine. You're going to take it or you'll, you're, you're worried about it. And you're not going to take it. The truth is, is that if you're a Christian, you have to live it. And if you're not a Christian, then you have to seek the moral good above all things. We can try to save ourselves in this world, but when we do this, we cause others pain. Um, I've talked to a few girls about different things, and all I wanted from them was to for them to be mine, you know. But I acted awful. And I think a lot of that is because I wouldn't just, you know, pick a girl. She's nice. She's pretty. We can get along. I, we enjoy each other. And then just go with it. And being okay with the fact that there could be prettier women out there, um, better chances, nicer ones, more Christian, more adventurous, uh, more anarchist, you know, whatever uh, political vent you have. But I think too often we focus on what our ideal is rather than what we have here in this world today. And the reality is that people are desperate and people are lost and people are angry and they're bored and they're upset and they're depressed and they're disappointed in themselves because they thought everything would happen uh, for a reason and that everything will be good in the end. And as Christians, we believe this, but when pain happens to people and sin, uh, we have to address this. But if we're the ones causing that pain and sin, then people are just going to walk. Um, you know, Texas recently lifted their abortion um, or they had this uh, abortion, anti-abortion um, bill, which I support. I'm still pro-life. But I think pro-life comes at a cost. That you have to be willing to date a single mom, even if you are you know, making that sacrifice. Because if we don't really take serious the eschaton or the gospel mission or any of this stuff, if we really don't take this seriously, they're just going to have abortions. And I know a lot of people are worried about the left and they won the culture war and it's all over and different and they just want the way the world to go back to that it was. I mean, the reality is it's not. It's not going back. People are going to be the way they are. If you truly have a relationship with God, and I'm keeping that very basic, Yeshua Jesus, or if you're not a Christian, God. Yahweh, or again, God. You have to live like him. And living like him is not only sacrifice, but it's love. It's the positive. We want to help other people. We want to show God's love to these people and change them. We don't need to lament the fact that this world is broken. They know this. And these people, they, like Travis Scott, for example, he acts satanic not because he's evil, but because he's bored. And he had a bad experience with Christianity. I'm at this point now where it's either you can only conserve one thing, if at that, right? Either there's a Holy Spirit 
that is guiding this world and even in the evil things, just like how um, the, I think it was Joshua. I don't think it was Joshua. Uh, the boy with many colored robe, right? When the his brothers threw him into slavery and they met him again in Egypt, what he said was beautiful. He said that what you meant for evil, God meant for good. And we as Christians or religious people have to really believe that this goodness will happen. But we also have to live it. And I'll admit that I'm not living it. This goes beyond pornography. This goes beyond getting a pretty girlfriend, uh, the left, um, any of this stuff. Because the reality is, is that I know a lot of people are worried about them, but I think really they'll just, if we don't heal people, they'll just die. Maybe spiritually, but literally die. They'll have abortions. They will commit suicide. They will try all these things. And we believe that it's not going to go anywhere. But if we just act as though Puritans and stay safe, no offense to Puritans out there, but, you know, follow the law and do the rituals and have debates, but we don't live like Christ then we don't have anything. And I'll admit that I'm the first to do, I'm, I'm, I just did it. And I feel awful. I don't regret what I said to this girl that I liked, but I regret how I acted. I don't care about the culture war anymore. I don't care about degeneracy, the changing of the times, any of this stuff because there's plenty of people out here who aren't psychopaths who are just suffering and the moment you obsess over this they'll just leave now sure people will do evil and wicked things but for the majority of person will just say no thank you and you can conserve your ideology all you want in your head. But when you face the facts of, even in National Socialism, right, you would have to fight white people to conserve white people. It makes no sense. You'd have to fight and destroy America just to heal America. And it just doesn't work that way. You have to... We have to live it. And I just want to invite that to you uh, today, that you just live your beliefs, whatever they are. You live them. No matter what. If you truly believe what you believe, you live it. And you seek the edification, and you seek God, and you seek the truth of it. Um. Thank you for listening. As always, I'm your friend, Aaron Aragin. But I think we really need to think about this coming age. It could be the revelations. It can just be another year, and that doesn't make any sense. I have no idea. All I know is that if we don't try to heal these people, seek God, um, be brave enough to go to them and just listen, then we already lost the spirit of the nation in ourselves. I don't want conservatives to become neocons or neoliberals and picking up the slack that liberals have taken. If you know, if they think socialism is better. Don't pick up neoliberalism and say it's actually good. You figure out what is innovative. You figure out what is true and you follow that. Nobody, like, who cares? <laughs> who cares about this stuff, man? 
I don't anymore need to live anyway. Um, yeah. I'm going to fast for a few uh, months and maybe do a vlog afterwards, but I, I don't care anymore. And I just want the meaning and the spirit and that Holy Spirit that moved history for the better. You know, whatever, whoever he is, you know, Yeshua, um, Yahweh, I want that spirit in our nation again. And I want that spirit in me again. And I just ask you to live your beliefs and have faith that they will bear good fruit if you truly try. Um, thank you.